Gloves start in our receiving department and are entered into our system by pairs to accurately detail the quantity and characteristics of each glove. They are brought into the washroom to start the cleaning process. Gloves are washed in our commercial washers with detergents that disinfect and remove contaminants. These detergents are proven safe for industry use on rubber protective equipment. The gloves are then dried for testing to prevent flashover. JM is capable of testing all gloves as classified by ASTM. All testing is performed in accordance with ASTM testing standards, which are nationally recognized by OSHA to be the industry standard. Our technicians prep the dielectric testing machine to ensure all settings meet these standards. These are grounding rods. They act as a ground reference if the electricity punctures through with the glove. Gloves are hung individually from the rack of the tester by pins. As testing begins, the gloves are filled with water and the tester closes to safeguard our employees from electric shock potential. The water in the tank is energized to the appropriate test voltage, as you may see from the electrical tracking. Voltage is applied for at least one minute for retest gloves and three minutes for new gloves. Electrical current levels are monitored during this time to ensure current leakage is not in excess. The gloves are then dried a second time. Gloves that have passed dielectric testing are then moved to our inflation area where visual inspection is performed. Compressed air is used and regulated to ensure that gloves are inflated to ASCM specifications and not overinflated. Extra bright lighting is located at this station to ensure that no defects are missed. Our technicians inspect the entire surface area, inside and out, paying special attention to the palms and fingers. All types of mechanical damage are caught at this stage, even those that pass dielectric testing. This is the most important stage in our process, seeing as this is the last step where failures can be caught. Only our most experienced, well-qualified technicians perform this task. Electrical failures occur due to a breakdown in the insulating properties of the rubber. Any glove that fails during dielectric testing is removed from the tester. The electricity punctures through the rubber, introducing electrified water into the grounded water, causing what's known as a dead short. The glove is defaced to ensure no future field use, and the remaining gloves are cycled through testing again to ensure the full duration of testing time is achieved. The electrical and visual failures are logged and turned into our administration personnel to inform the customer of the failures. New gloves are kept in stock and customers are given the option to replace any failures. All new gloves are run through appropriate testing and visual inspection. To stay compliant with OSHA, all passing equipment is stamped with the necessary information along with personalized or informative details requested by our customers. A unique JM stamp detailing the voltage applied during testing along with the maximum field use voltage are applied. The gloves are then stamped according to the date they are tested. This allows customers to easily identify gloves that are in and out of compliance. Personalized information for tracking, such as employee ID numbers, employee names, rotation numbers or letters, and the date due back for testing can be requested to be placed on the gloves. For customers that do not have a unique identifying system for their equipment, an identifying number is applied to the inside of each glove. The beginning of our quality assurance begins when a lead technician is called to inspect all technician stamps for accuracy. All stamps are checked against any paperwork submitted by our customers to ensure special requests are being met and all information has been logged correctly by our receiving department. For easy identification, each pair of gloves are packaged in clear bags then heat sealed. The heat seal allows customers to know when a pair of gloves have been issued out for service. Labels are applied to boxes to easily identify contents without having to open each box. This makes for easy distribution back to employees and storage. Qualified technicians generate a test report and send with each order for record keeping purposes.